Nation. Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins, and welcome to Financial Love Making, where we talk about love, life, money, and everything in between. I'm here with my buddy, partner, and co-host, Ms. S. Tia Brown. How are you doing today, Tia? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing better than Tyrese. Oh, Lord. Well, yeah. Tyrese is in the uh, Fast and Furious 7 movie coming out April 3rd, uh, and he has some Fast and Furious court dates coming up as well, mm-hmm. because he is in a legal battle with his ex-wife, Norma Gibson, because she is an Israeli citizen and she wants to go on vacation with their young daughter and take her overseas. Now, Tyrese's concern is that Norma will not return with their child. And Israel's policy is that the parent who's from another country has no rights to come and claim the child. So Tyrese is rather furious and he's going to court fast and in a hurry what do See, you think boys? That, that was so corny <laughs> that was so corny stop it just stop it but you know what um <laughs> well you know I, I guess we gotta help to help out tyrese and, and, and hype up his uh fast and furious appearances because <laughs> they, eventually they're gonna have to stop making those movies they're up to number seven and uh and he doesn't have the transformers role anymore remember the, remember he was in transformers and he had this really cool you know, relatively prominent role in the film, and then he just disappeared. You well, know? I mean, with, with those kind of franchises, people come in and out, even with the Fast and Furious, like Bow Wow was in some of them, mm-hmm. you know, so people come in and out of those movies. But overall, Tyrese's career has been, I, I think, one that's that should be a little envy because he's had a lot of balance between music and movies that most people haven't had. Now, recently, he's spoken out about the challenges in monetizing a, a, a record career uh, career music because people just aren't buying albums the way they used to. So traditional artists have had to really find new ways to monetize their music. But overall, he's not hurting for cash. You know, he, well, those big you know, screen deals are fabulous. Well, you know, you know how it is, though. When we look beneath the surface, we never know what's going on with the celebrity and their money. I mean, Terrence Howard was having like some severe financial problems and now he's got the the empire gig which will be pretty much him playing catch up as opposed to him just really getting ahead so i so i i don't think we can ever judge the book by its cover because i think a lot of celebrities are sort of pressured to live or they feel pressured to live a certain lifestyle even though their money isn't quite up to what they're they're showing the public right so Um, if you've been balling and not on your budget then you're in trouble Absolutely, absolutely, and and because I can I can guarantee you, I have no doubt in my mind that if you ask Tyrese, how do you feel about paying almost seven thousand dollars a month in child support? Tyrese would probably not be happy about that. He wouldn't say, "Oh, there's seven thousand a month. That's nothing. I'll just you know, I just I I, I you know I urinate <laughs> out seven thousand." Right. Well, you know, well, well, the funny thing, it's, it's interesting. I was looking down the list and I saw that he's he's taking care of her pretty well. I think he's paying the rent in the house and he's doing all these other things. And and but but really, most importantly, though, uh, his prized possession is his daughter. And, um, and it's interesting that he has this fear that she's going to take his daughter and run away. And, and I think that that's tremendous because. A lot of times when we talk about dads, regardless of color, it's not really about the relationship. And it's important for us to talk about men who value the relationship that they have with their child. He's saying, I cannot bond and nurture my daughter if she's in another country. This is not what we agreed to. You can't just get up and go. Well, I, and I agree. And I think that it goes back to what I always talk about in terms of you have some parents that, that sort of take this ownership of a child. They forget that two people made the baby. They think only one person made the baby and I can do whatever I want. And there's absolutely. a double standard. Like if, if you try to do these things to me, then uh, it's absolutely unacceptable. You're a horrible person, but I can do those same things to you. I, I, I can't imagine how she would react if Tyree said, I'm taking my baby and we're going to Ghana or, you know, we're just going to go, we're going to go back. to right. I don't think he'd be moving to Israel. Right. Black, black people don't go to Israel unless they're going to go into the motherland. Right, right. Black people are not welcome in Israel typically based on the, you know, with the reputation of that country. But, you know, that is her heritage. Maybe she wants to take the child so she can experience Israel. But I can't imagine that there aren't any legal safeguards to protect his rights as a parent. Well, I mean, Israel and the United country. States, they're like this. They have the closest relationship ever. Why can't you go over there and get your baby? That doesn't make any sense to me. 
Well, I think what they really need to focus on is coming to a conclusion between the two of them themselves. Keep the legal system out of it because that just makes it more and more challenging. And I understand if she wants to visit and go home and maybe stay for a little while, maybe there's a way to say, listen, I'm going to go home for a year. You know, we'll do a back and forth thing where she comes back on holidays. And then you can have full custody of her for a certain period of time. And I think that that's really when you start talking about parity and fairness, like you said, if you want to do something because you're going through a life change or you want to change something uh, about your living circumstances, it's not fair that everybody has to be penalized for it. And this is something that we often don't hear about. If you if you want to have full custody of your child, does it have to be permanent? You know, are you the only person that gets to make the decision for where your child resides for the entirety of this of her or his or her uh, condition as a minor? And I right. think there needs to be more parity in that. So. Absolutely. Yeah, if you want to go to Israel for a year, go. But understand that then she needs to be able to have uh, a relationship with her dad, too. And he has the right to do the same thing. And big picture, mom really needs to think about what's best for the daughter. She's taking her to a new country, you know, taking her out of school, taking her out of familiar settings. And yes, people do have change and have transition, but you're also losing your dad. And do you want her to be in a position where she's going back and forth consistently? I, I, Put the child first. Well, I think that's absolutely true. I mean, if you, if you take your child away from their other parent, um, it's hard to argue that you really love that child. Um, sometimes we don't love the child as much as we love ourselves. We love what we, you know, maybe we're bitter because the relationship didn't didn't end the way we wanted it to, or or we're mad because their parenting style differs from ours. But at the end of the day, when you make decisions that eliminate the other parent from the child's life, you are hurting the child. You, I agree, but I, I do want to interrupt there and say that it's not always a selfish decision. Sometimes it depends on what phase of life this person is in. Like, let's say she has a sick parent or she wants to she's decided that she wants to, you know, have a career and she needs to do it overseas. There are reasons to move. The important thing is figuring out what works best for all three parties. So it can't just be a decision based on so if you need to move, maybe your daughter can't come with you. If you need to move, uh, maybe you need to set up a situation where there's parity with the other parent and they can go back and forth. So sometimes life does change. I don't want to live in LA anymore or wherever I'm living because we had a divorce. But what's fair for the child and my former partner? Well, you know, and I'll tell you that, you know, you, you inspired a, a new a new law that I'm going to implement once I become <laughs> president of the planet. Once I become dictator for a day, I'm going to implement this law. The law is going to be simple. It's going to say, if you have a child with another person, you will have partial custody for half the year unless there's a reason not to do that that will be the default outcome the child will be with you for half the year they will be with the other parent for half the year but see you, you, this is the thing simple uh simple remedies like that don't always work and well, well they, they don't work but 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 now our default is the child goes live, to live with the mother and the father is like kind of out yeah, or there the on the child side goes to live with the father and the mother well, well the most of the Flight time though, it's ideal but it's very difficult but, for fathers to get cut full no, custody. I, it's, I get it. it's, it's doable it happens but it's very difficult you have yeah. to prove like you have to show pictures of her being on crack and out killing people and, <laughs> you know i mean you really got to go all to, to the limit to right. get custody as a father even partial custody so what i would just say is maybe not half and half but but at least the summers at least the summers the child is going to go live with the father whether you like it or not if you don't like your child living in two residences then don't go having babies with just anybody that you don't think you can make a relationship last with uh you know which which even goes further to say be careful of who you sleep with because that might be your co-parent ba babies do come from sex and people seem to forget that i think joint custody in most situations is the remedy and that's different from physical custody right so the child can reside primarily with one parent however because i think it's unfair also for the child to have to go back now you have two places that you live maybe school isn't in the same proximity so all of those things have to come and play for the child but in terms of making major life decisions for a child, it should not be on one parent. And if one, if the other parent is someone who's extremely irresponsible, then you let the courts intercede. But we need to start from this place of every parent, each parent is important, each parent cares about their child, and each parent is willing to make sacrifices for what's best for child, the child. Yes, and I'm going to tell you a story about something I read about this Tyrese situation. I don't know if you saw this or not, but there was another incident where Tyrese went to go pick up his daughter, and the mother said, she's too sick to go with you. 
And yeah. Tyrese said, no, she can, she's sick, but she can get well while she's with her father. Absolutely. And she, the mother called the police. Uh, Tyrese said he felt humiliated because he was told to go away. He wasn't allowed to be with his child because somehow, somewhere, we decided that, that a sick child can't heal when he's with his father. He yeah. had, she has to stay home. And I, and, that, and then little stuff like that, I'm not going to lie, it infuriates me. Yeah, and that's a form of bullying. Absolutely. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, un- yeah, it's crazy to me. Right. So even if the daughter wasn't feeling well, taking a short car ride, you know, and and these are all things within reason, right? So we're not saying taking her traveling someplace far, a short car ride to daddy's house, to her room where daddy and his, his, you know, family and support can also nurture her. And she can feel that a man can be loving to her without any strings attached, because these are the lessons that daddies are teaching girls. She can have those quality times with him and have the memories of these are daddy's remedies, right? These are the things daddy did to make me feel better. And all of that is missed. Because the parent is yes. making a selfish decision at that moment. So, you know, when we see all these little girls, you know, acting a certain way when they get older, we wonder, well, what happened? Well, you know, daddy was around, but daddy wasn't in my life. Moms also have to be responsible for, did we prevent, you know, in our anger, and our hurt? Sometimes it's okay to be angry and hurt, but the child should not be penalized if he is a good father. And that takes so much maturity to get past what he did to me and not make it about what he's doing to us. Yes. The last thing I'll say on that is this. Um, What I really tried to understand, you know, how uh, a missing father can affect a young girl. I tried to flip it and say, what kind of man would I be if my mother were not there? If I let's say I let's say that even worse than my mother not being there, let's say she was there, but I had no respect for her. You know, let's say she was a prostitute on drugs and I just learned to dislike her. And, I, and let's say in, in, in addition to that, in my household, I'm hearing things about my mother that are less than favorable. How would that affect my perception of women? Um, I wouldn't have a, 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 a positive opinion of women. I wouldn't. I would think, well, all women do is they 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 love you for a while and then they drop you off on the corner and forget about you. Women are good for sex and cooking, maybe, but that's about it. Uh, so they're accessories to my life. They're not necessities. No, 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 really, really. I'm saying either either that either either I'd be at that extreme with with an extreme hatred of women, or I would spend my life looking for my new mother. Right, one or the other, and, and, and or even both actually. Right, I'm looking at you. Are you going to be my new mother? And the minute you disappoint me, I'm going to say, "See, you're you're worthless, just like all those other women." Right, and and that's what you see. We heard that before. Both yes, first. yes, yeah. we see that happen all the time. And uh, and I thought about this because I have a couple friends whose mothers either weren't there or just were less than desirable. And 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 one of these guys, I think about this. He's he's the biggest womanizer I've ever seen. He has no use for a woman other than one thing, and that's it. He doesn't want to get married. He doesn't know how to love a woman. Doesn't care about loving a woman woman he, he likes women for sex and that's it so yeah. i would say that we have to really examine this you know what are you doing to your child when you remove the father entirely from the picture uh you know now maybe if the father is a killer or a child molester Absolutely. okay makes sense but you know if you eliminate the father because you know you don't agree with him or you don't like his parenting style or you don't like that girlfriend he has at his house you got to think about the long-term implications of that decision you're probably hurting your child. You in no, the, in you the, are hurting your child. Absolutely. More than you're hurting the man. And they're both Bingo. going to be hurt. And that revenge isn't going to feed your soul. It's not going to take away the hurt that he's done to you. The disappointment that you have because what you hoped for that relationship didn't manifest. So definitely encourage women and men to be as mature as possible when you're dealing with uh, an ex and children are involved. Because after all, the child is the priority. You know, so make sure you put the kid first. Love to hear what you guys have to say about this topic. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Bye bye. Love the babies. Love the babies.